Here I have a tier list and a stack of every color in HTML. And today we're going to be going through all of them and ranking them. Let's start with yellow green. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's not really anything interesting. I think it's going to be a C. Uh, let's go yellow. Um, this one's really bright, but, um, yeah, this one's really bright, but I could see it being useful, so it's also going to be a C. This one, it's basically white. Uh, let's go with a D. Now, I'm going to be grading these by a lot of factors, including how, how well they're named with the little titles they've got, um, as well as how they look from a first glance standpoint and from my opinion standpoint, and also how useful they could be in real world situations. So because this is pure white, this could be used in very in a very large amount of real world situations, making this a S. Now this is wheat. It's okay, I think it'll be a B. Actually no, a C. Here we've got violet. It's a nice color, let's go with A. Turquoise. My favorite color is actually dark cyan, or teal as the HTML colors saw it, call it. I've actually had a look through the HTML colors as I, as I was already seeing them, because I was taking screenshots of them from w3schools.com, so I could actually, you know, use them. Turquoise is probably going to be an A as well. Tomato. This one looks really nice from a first glance, so it's going here. Thistle. This is kind of boring, let's go with E. Teal, like I said, my favorite color, definitely an S. Tan, oh boy, this one's interesting. Uh, let's go with, hmm, I, I don't know, this one looks very similar to this one. So I guess, actually there's a lot of ones that are similar to these, so I'm gonna move them all down a layer to the D layer because they're all so similar and that takes down their usefulness factor. This one looks really nice from the start. It's going to get a B. This one, this one's a bit bright, but it's also pretty cool, so we'll give it a B as well. Snow. This is essentially just white. It's going in D. Slate gray. Essentially just gray. It's going in E because it's not super interesting. Slate gray. Wait. Slate gray? Slate. Slate, gray, slate, slate. Oh, I forgot, I forgot America exists. Shoot, okay. Um, so because, so because, so because America has made it so inconvenient for everyone by using their own words for everything and own spelling for gray, we're going to give this an F. F for freedom. State blue, this one's kind of interesting. It looks nice, so we'll give it an A. Sky blue. This color looks neat, and it's also the name of my sister's YouTube channel, so we're going to put it in uh, A. Silver. This is okay. It's going in E. Cyana. This one's kind of, kind of bad. It's also going in E. Seashell. I really don't see this being useful in that many situations, so it's going in E, because it's so close to white, but it's also so similar to all of these ones. C green. This one is very similar to my favorite color, so it's going next to it. In S. Sandy brown. This one's okay. It's going in C. Salmon. Ooh, this one's neat. I like this one. And I also like the taste of salmon, so it's going in the S tier. Saddle brown. This one looks like garbage, bottom of the list. Royal blue, ooh, this one's neat. Uh, I guess I'll go with A. I'm running out of space. <laughs> Rosy brown, this one's neat. Let's go with, let's go with D. I don't know why I'm saying this one's neat for all of them. <laughs> red, it's just red, let's go with C. It's a bit too bright and it's a bit too bright and has too much contrast for many for many real world uses without looking like a 90s website. Rebecca purple. Um yeah, that's okay. B purple. This one looks nice too. I really I don't know why I really like dark cool colors. So this one's going in S. Remember, this is my personal opinion. 
powder blue. Very similar to sky blue, so it's going down here in the B. Plum. I really like this one. Top of the list. Pink. It's very similar to all the other ones, so I think it's going to go in C. Peru. Hmm. I'm not sure. This one looks okay. Let's go here. Also, I've never been to Peru, but I'm sure it's a great country, so we'll move it to C. Peach Puff. This one looks neat. Uh, let's go with here. Pay, 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 uh, papaya. That's what it is. Papaya. Papaya whip. I can't believe I didn't know how to pronounce that. Uh, let's go down there in the E tier. Pale violet red. That's a very inconveniently long name. So where it's going right here in C. Pale turquoise. This one is very similar to, to powder blue and sky blue, so it's going here. Pale green. This one's kind of neat. It's going in S. Pale golden rod. This is a very long name, and it's also very similar to all the other ones. It's going in F because of the inconveniently long name. Orchid. This one looks neat. It's going in B. Orange red. This looks very similar to red, so I'm going to put it in the D tier. Because it's kind of pointless, let's be real. Orange. Orange. It looks okay. Let's go with B. Olive drab. This one looks kind of garbage, so it's going in the E tier. Olive. This one looks like my diarrhea when I'm sick, so we're going to go in the F tier. Old lace. This is essentially just white, but with a bit of tan to it, just like, seash just like seashells. So it's going in the E tier. Navy. This one looks neat, but it, but despite it being a dark, cool color, it's not as it's not as pleasing to me as these ones. So we're gonna put it in A. Navajo white. This one is okay. We're gonna put it down here. We're gonna put it right here. I'm running out of space. Gonna zoom out a bit. <laughs> Moccasin. Let's go with this. It, it's actually very similar to that one. Wow, that's weird. Misty Rose. Bottom of the list. Mint Cream. This is essentially just white, but slightly darker. I can't even tell the difference from here, so it's going to go in the F tier. Midnight Blue. Essentially just navy, so it's going next to navy. Medium Violet Red. I kind of like this one. It sort of gives me the same vibe of dark, cool colors, except it's more... It's more towards the hot colors, so let's give it an A. Medium turquoise. This one looks okay. It's going to go in the B tier. Medium, medium spring green. This one looks kind of bad, but it's, but, it, but it's okay, so it's going in C. Medium state blue. This one looks nice. It's going in the S tier. Medium C green. Eh, it's okay. It's going in the B tier. Medium purple. This one looks okay. It's going here, in the S tier. <laughs> I changed my mind. Heat. Medium Orchid. This one looks okay. It's going to go in the C tier. Medium Blue. This one looks really, really contrasty. So it's going to go in the A tier. Actually, no. It's going to go in the... Bleh, I misspoke. It's going to go in the C tier. <laughs> Medium Aquamarine. This one looks pretty good. Let's give it an A tier. Maroon. Hmm. This one looks okay. It's not the best, though. So it's going to go down here in the D tier. Magenta. This one looks way too vibrant and looks like... And gives me the sort of vibe of a color that would be used on a 90s website before people knew how to make things pleasing on the eyes. So it's going to go in the F tier. Linen. Essentially just... Is that, is that the same color as Old Lace? It looks very similar. Uh, lime Green. This one's going... Eh, B tier. Lime. Same thing as Magenta. Way too vibrant. Can't even see the white text on top of it. Light Yellow. This one's going here. Also, that is way too light to be light yellow. How is that lighter than tan? Why is tan like this and light yellow like this? How? Light Steel Blue. This one looks okay. It could I can see it being used in a lot of situations, so it's going on the C tier. Light Slate Gray. 
This one, eh. Let's go with D tier. Light slate gray. Wait. Oh, I forgot again. Okay, we're going with the E tier. Light sky blue. This one looks pretty good, actually. It's going to go in A. Or S, excuse me. Light sea green. Let's go with the top. This one looks a lot like teal, but slightly brighter, so I like it. Light salmon. Like I said, I like salmon as a food, and it also looks pretty good. So, it's going at the top. Light pink. This one looks pretty good. Let's give it a C tier. Or B tier, excuse me. God, I can't tell without the... The fact that there's an S is throwing me off when I can't see the letters anymore. <laughs> Light green. This one looks pretty good. Let's give it a A tier. Light gray. This one looks eh, pretty bad. Let's give it a e t D tier. And we ran into the same problem again. I'm gonna start. Be I'm gonna stop being rude to America and put it right next to light gray. Light golden rod yellow. That is the longest name I've ever seen in my life in a color. So we're gonna put it in the bottom. Light cyan. This one's okay. It's going here. Actually, no. It's going here. Light coral. This one looks pretty good. I like it. Let's go top. Light blue. Eh, okay. Lemon chiffon. Bottom of the list. Looks way too similar to all these others. H how are half of these just forms of tan? How? Why? Lawn green. This is like lime and magenta, but slightly better. But it's still going to go in the F tier. Lavender blush. This is, uh, okay. It's going in the E tier. Lavender. Eh. E tier. Khaki. Eh. F tier. Ivory. This is essentially just white. But slightly darker. Just like a lot of, a, a lot of these other ones. It's going here. In the D tier. Indigo. I like this one. It's dark and cool color. So... Just my my favorite type of color. Indian red. This one's okay. It's going here. Hot pink. This one's eh. It's okay, but a bit too vibrant for normal use cases. So we're going to put it in the B. Honey dew. Eh. Bottom of the list. Green yellow. Gives the same sort of vibe as la magenta, lime, and lawn green, but a little bit higher up. So we're going to put it in the E tier instead of the F. Green. Dark and dark and cool color. My favorite type of color. It's going in the S tier. Gray. Uh, let's put it next to this gray. And gray again. Okay. Same thing. Golden Rod. Aha, so you're the little piece of garbage that keeps get, getting variations with long names. I mean, come on. We've got hecking... We've got having pale golden rod... And, and light yellow goldenrod. These are so long names. Bottom of the list. Thank you. Very gladly we'll put you there. Gold. This one's okay. It's going with D. Ghost white. This is basically just white but darker like a lot of these. So it's going in the F. Gainsboro. Eh. F. Fuchsia. This has the same vibe as magenta. So it's going to go in F. Forest green. This is basically just green. I can't even tell the difference, except for a slight, bit, uh, except it's a slight bit lighter. So it's going in the top. Floral light, eh? Fire brick, uh, pretty good. Dodger blue, eh? Dim gray, okay. Dim gray, eh? Actually, I'm gonna move these down. He's going here. Deep sky blue. This one looks okay. Deep pink. Pretty good, but not that good. Dark violet, eh. Dark turquoise, how is that dark turquoise? That's like light turquoise. What? Dark slate gray, eh, bottom. Dark slate gray, eh, bottom. Dark slate blue, eh, middle. Dark, dark sea green, ooh, I really like this one. It's going at the top. Dark salmon. Uh, how is that dark? Is it just me, or is salmon darker than dark salmon? 
Okay, that's going in yeah, B. Dark red, it's going here. Dark orchard, it's going here. Dark orange, it's going here. Dark olive green, this once again looks like diarrhea. It's going here. Dark magenta, I really like this one. Dark khaki, eh. Dark green, once again, I like dark, blue, dark cool colors. Dark gray, dark gray. Dark golden rod. Uh, eh. It looks better than the other golden rods. Dark cyan. Really like this one. As I said, I really like dark cyan. Really like it. Dark blue. Eh. Put it here. Cyan. Ah, oh, my god, my eyes are burning. They're, this is way too bright and way too vibrant. It's going at the bottom. Funny how my how dark sign is at the top and sign is at the bottom. Just shows how a bit of a bit of dark mode can help your eyes. <laughs> Crimson. Eh. It's going in a corn silk. Meh. Bottom. Corn flower blue. Meh. Coral. Feh. Chocolate. I like chocolate. It's going here. This has the same vibe as lime and magenta and all those other colors. Cadet blue. Looks very similar to dark cyan. I like it. S tier. Bur burly wood. Eh. Brown. How is that brown? It looks like red. That's far that's false advertising. That's going in that's going down here because of its false advertising in the name. Blue violet. It looks pretty good. It's going there. Blue. This gives me the vibe of a blue screen of death for some reason. So it's going here. Bl bla blanched almond. Eh, it's going here. Black. This Once again, this can be in a lot of use cases, just like white. So it's going here. Bisque. Top of the list, no questions. Beige. Eh. Uh, actually, no, that's why did I put that? It's going there. Azure. Once again, basically just a darker version of white. Aquamarine. Eh. Aqua. Feh. Antique white. Bad. Alice Blue. Once again, just a darker version of white. And we are done. So this is the final list. Who oh boy. <laughs> That's the final list. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be honest. If you subscribe, you'll essentially gain nothing other than getting notifications if you turn notifications on for when my videos release and getting them in your subscription feed, and letting YouTube algorithm know that you like my type of content. I heard somewhere that being honest about your product is actually a very effective form of advertising. I heard somewhere that emotion also helps a lot with advertising, so if you want to help cure my depression, then subscribe so I can get some dopamine in my brain, please.